Taking utmost post-op care is most important to have a better regrowth of your transplanted hair and that will also finally decide your result. So you must know how, what are the precautions you must take after undergoing a hair transplantation. Today video is all about post-operative care. So first coming to the medications, immediately post-transplant uh, in fact, before the transplant, what we give, there are four or five types of medication, antibiotic, painkillers and sometimes because of antibiotic, you develop loose motions to prevent that we give probiotics and because you are taking three, four medications to reduce any acidity, also you give antacid like pantoprazole or abiprazole along with these medications. And there are certain medications to reduce the swelling that we call the anti-inflammatory medications. You have to take these medications for uh, for five days after surgery including the day of surgery after that along with uh, oral medications you have to do some local care in local care coming to two areas one is the transplant area and second is the donor area coming to the transplant area when we put grafts so it is basically putting the grafts into the pre-made slits so there will be little bit of oozing and crusting or maybe it may be mild bleeding so you have to constantly spray normal saline into this uh, transplanted area the purpose is to keep the graft hydrated so more frequently you spray over this area so that you are preventing any dehydration over the graft and also you are preventing any crust formations more the crust formation it will lead to more problem in settlement of the grafts grafts may get detached so what you have to do for initial two three days you have to do saline spray over this area every 30 minutes after that you can make it like every one hour from morning till you go to bed you don't have to put this saline uh, at night like getting up from the bed just spray and sleep and then in the next morning you start spraying every one hourly and the amount of spray is very little so that just to keep this area hydrated of the graft then coming to the donor area so what we do after transplant we put a bandage over the uh, donor area so it has to be removed on day two of your surgery like today is the surgery tomorrow day after tomorrow you have to remove this dressing so you can come to the clinic for the dressing removal or you can get it at, done at your home also first you have to do a little bit of saline spray over this area so that the bandage that applied it will become soft then remove it after removing the bandage you have to apply this a donor area with little bit of betadine solution keep it for around one or two minutes then clean with the saline then after that you have to apply topical antibiotic like mupirocin fisidic acid over the donor area then coming to the sleeping position initial two three days what you have to do so you have to be on supine position so that you have to lie on your back and the head end should be elevated you can put one or two pillow over this area so that it get elevated and your transplanted area not getting touched to your bed so when you have a transplant over the temple area also you don't have to lie down in the lateral position like or the left or to the right you have to sleep straight with head up so when you have a only transplant over the crown area not over the front then you can sleep in a prone position on your stomach position and also initial two days so while uh, sleeping so you can put a travel pillow on uh, under your neck so that your head get elevated and it also you are ensuring that your grafts not getting touched to your bed so after transplant so what we have observed like uh, it is a very normal phenomena so because we inject lot of anesthetic fluids and some uh, fluid to prevent any bleeding at the surgery site this fluid may gravitate down to the forehead areas on day two or day three you may start developing little bit of swelling over this area and people sometimes get very anxious what happened some i think something went wrong or i think i have developed some allergy this is not allergy this is normal phenomena because this fluid getting gravitated to your this forehead area sometimes if your skin is very loose it may come towards your eyes also you will develop little bit of swelling over this area also so what you have to do from day two onwards you have to do massage over the forehead area so you have to keep both your thumb like this from the center and you have to press hard like from center to the periphery like you are doing milking so this prevents any form of uh, swelling over this forehead area second thing is you have to avoid head bending down like constant use of mobile phone so this position you have to avoid you have to look straight or little bit up and even if after doing this you are still developing some swelling don't worry this is completely uh, get subsided in next three four days so next coming to regarding physical activities 
So post transplant initial 48 to 72 hours is most crucial because graft gets settled to this uh, transplanted area. Avoid any form of activity in, including movement uh, so that anything that will lead to increased blood flow and subsequently increased bleeding of that area will uh, hamper the graft settlement. So no activities for initial 72 hours, not like complete bed rest, but you avoid going outside and minimize your physical activities. So after 72 hours, you can start doing normal walk, normal uh, yoga, exercise, all these things. But it should be not be very strenuous exercise. Only normal walk is allowed after 72 hours. So after one week, once your head wash is done, so you can start doing your walking exercise, including normal cardio. But it should be in a graded manner. So intensity of the exercise should be gradually, gradually increased, not very harsh. So after two weeks, you can further increase the intensity of the exercise, including weight lifting, all these things. But no outdoor activities, including sports, well, team sports, where there are multiple people are involved, like cricket, all these things. Avoid these things for initial four weeks. After four weeks, you can start doing these outdoor activities, including outdoor sports. And also, after 4 weeks, you can go for swimming also. Regarding use of helmet, that you can use after 4 weeks. Avoid using any helmet before 4 weeks because it may have some pressure effect of your planted graft that may hamper the growth. Regarding smoking and alcohol, ideally you should avoid smoking because smoking has direct relation in terms of delayed healing and also detrimental effect on the graft regrowth. So you should avoid doing smoking and if you have a chronic smokers, you can consider reducing the number of cigarettes per day. And what I advise regularly to the patients undergoing hair transplant to stop smoking one week before surgery and also one week after surgery. Regarding alcohol, alcohol is a vasodilator. So increases the chances of blood flow to the uh, scalp area. So it may contribute to more bleeding during surgery. So you should stop taking alcohol at least uh, two, three days before surgery and post surgery because you'll be on antibiotic, painkillers, all these things for initial four, five days. At that time, you should also avoid taking alcohol because it may have some interaction with these medications. So initial 48 to 72 hours, you should avoid going outside. So after that, when you'll go outside, you have to put a surgical cap over this area. So, so surgical cap is like when you have to uh, wear, you have to use from front to the back. And when you'll remove the cap, you have to remove from the back to the front and on the top of surgical cap you can use any normal cap very lightly very loosely uh, but it should not be directly on your transplanted hair so once after seven days your head, head wash is done then you can put a normal cap without there is no need of any surgical cap beyond seven days so initial part of surgery like initial two three days when there is an effect of anesthesia you may not feel any sensation over this area so while entering inside the car so entering into the home, you have to make sure that it is not getting hit with any hard object. Any force, any hitting over this area will lead to dislodgement of the graft and also bleeding. So you should be very careful for initial 2-3 days. Then coming to the medications, so after 7 days you will have a uh, head wash. So your medication will be over by 5 or 6 days. So after that, you can start taking finasteride. So that is to prevent your ongoing process of baldness and also you have to do regular shampoo over the transplanted area and also the donor area that help in early clearing of the crusting and also helps in keeping the scalp healthy and hygiene and along with this make your diet proper in protein like your daily requirement is like suppose somebody you having weight of around 60 kg you have to take around 50 grams of protein per day so make sure you are taking good amount of proteins and also you can take any form of supplements as prescribed by your hair transplant surgeon so this is to give some additional boost up to a proper support to the transplanted hair second thing is regarding minoxidil applications so after surgery you may have little bit of redness and sometimes people develop mild discomfort itching over this area so you should avoid applying minoxidil for initial four weeks after four weeks you can start applying minoxidil over the transplanted area yes but like if you have undergone transplant only over the front and this area there is a thinning that area you can start applying minoxidil seven days after surgeries so follow these instructions properly to have a better regrowth of your transplanted hair and also early regrowth of your transplanted hair and better healing process thank you